Hello everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 76th episode of Coffee with Jody. That's 24 more to go to reach 100. Yay! Today we're going to be talking about innovation, employee engagement, and driving innovation from within. Conventional wisdom would have us believe that innovation comes from entrepreneurs, people who are in the garage, you know, creating things from nothing. However, my client, Professor Kaihan Krippendorf, states in his book, Driving Innovation from Within, that many of today's innovations that we take for granted, such as computers, the internet, cell phones, and email, were actually innovations that came from within organizations. He states that that belief that it's entrepreneurs is one of today's biggest myths. If innovation is coming from within the organization, then we're going to want to know as business leaders what's going on with the engagement of our employees. Gallup's latest study says that only 36% of people are engaged in, in their positions. That means 64% are either disengaged or actively disengaged and sabotaging our businesses. In the US alone, disengaged employees cost our economy somewhere between 450 and 550 billion dollars a year. That's crazy. So as business leaders, we need to be looking at what are the conditions inside of our organizations that allow for and drive engaged employees. In addition to the employee engagement statistics of 36% of employees being engaged, Gallup also found that 33% of employees leave their positions to seek a new challenge. They're bored. Looking for professional development, learning, ways to hone and master their professions. This is why it's so important for us, business owners and leaders, to identify the ways that we can have variety, cross-train, career development ladders, uh, ways to motivate people to tap into their natural talents, their interests, their passions, what motivates them in the workplace? What are their talents? Many of the things that we've discussed in other videos on profiling so that they're actually working to those things that they do best, are most interested in, and contribute the greatest amount to the organization. You've heard me say over and over again, the best ideas come from the people doing the doing. And yet, when they're stressed out, fearful or exhausted, the ideas just simply don't flow. On the other hand, when they feel safe, heard, valued, and are given the time to come up with ideas, to form a hypothesis, and then to test it, the creativity, the imagination, and the continuous improvement do flow. With the myriad of issues and challenges that business owners face on a day in and day out basis, it may seem like there's just not enough time to put all of this in place. And yet, when we do, and yet, with the investment in attracting, recruiting, retaining, and developing engaged employees, you get dividends on that for years and years and years to come. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for today. Bye for now.